Howdy folks, welcome to a new game that I've found and I needed another game like I needed a hole in my head but you know it's just too good to pass up. Uh, this is Archeon and I hope I'm saying that right. It is a uh, engineering sandbox, it's in early development, it just came out I think in May so it's still pretty early but there's got there's it's got a lot going on for it. So I'm going to make at least a little mini series here. And basically, it's kind of like Space Engineers and Stormworks. It's got some of those elements, but uh, there's Adventure and Creative Mode. I'm in Adventure Mode. There is no survival yet. That's coming. But in Adventure Mode, you actually have to you know, mine resources and, and make things. Whereas Creative, you just do whatever you want. So I've had a little look around. I went through the tutorial level that teaches you how to build a rover. So that kind of gets you the basics of how things operate in the game. And I played around a little bit in that world, just seeing how some things worked. And now here we are in an adventure world. And I've gathered up a little bit of stuff just to kind of get started. Because it is a little tedious at the start. Like a lot of these games, you have to gather a lot of rocks. Click on a lot of rocks. <laughs> and you gather those up. But basically, from what I understand, we're an organic brain in a robot body. So that's why we look like this. And this is the... Uh, Old Earth, basically. So, giant continent, lots of ocean, moon's closer. Uh, right off the bat, I will say, this game is fully ray traced. And you can go read about the reasons for that on the Steam Discussions Forum or their Discord. But it does require an RTX card right now. They don't have any other support yet. Other support is coming. But right now, it does require an RTX card. And I only have an RTX 2080 Ti. Um, so I'm running on medium and it runs, you know, 50, 60, 70 FPS. It's not too bad, but just be aware it, uh, it does require RTX. That is uh, a hard requirement. I'm going to get here in the water, open up this and you can see I've gathered a little bit of stuff. I'm going to turn on our, uh, elect electrolysis on my suit here and it's filled up, a. Uh, a little bit of water and it's making hydrogen and oxygen. So some of the stuff, I think plastic, some of the other stuff you craft requires hydrogen and oxygen. So I'm gonna get a little bit of that in my suit. And of course you can build canisters to hold more and there's, there's a lot going on. But I've gathered up rocks and then the rocks you crush with your little suit crafter. And that gets you uh, these various things and different rocks give you different stuff. Right now we've got copper, iron, silicon, and some carbon. And then I've built some steel beams. And I've also built a constructor tool. And that's pretty much where we're at. So I don't know if this uses power, but I'm gonna go ahead and turn that off. So the goal for the series is basically to build, build a little base, get some automated processing going on, build a rover, uh, do a little bit of exploring, and then we'll see if it gets popular enough, uh, we might try to go to the moon. Yeah, I don't know how that works, but. <laughs> uh, so let's get started. Let's build a frame. So I'm gonna pull out my constructor tool. And then if I hold C, you can pick different things to build. Uh, the first thing you need to do is a frame. You have to build on a frame. And you build in world, kind of like space engineers. So I'm gonna hold, I think it's left click. I'm gonna get this guy back a little ways from the shore. I think we'll just start here. So if I hold left click, doink, we get a frame. And then I can't build anymore because I don't have enough stuff. Let's see, I require 12 beams. Now in this frame, if I hold C, we can go to like walls so I can make a floor. Uh, and right now it's set to composite, but I don't have composite blocks. I don't have really anything. We have to craft everything. If I hold C and then I use the scroll wheel, I can go to like concrete, steel. You can make it from different stuff. I kind of want to do concrete for my bottom floor here. Don't know what it takes to make concrete though. So part of the series is going to be me learning the game. So just be aware, I'm not an expert by any means. I do know the basics of getting like a mining drill up and processing the stuff. I've done that just to see how it works. But I did that in creative mode. So how do we make concrete? That's a great question. I don't actually know. But we have a search thing here. So if we look for concrete, concrete block. You just hover over that. We have, uh, I can craft 200. Okay, so it just takes silicon, water, and oxygen. And I have all of those. 
Now, if I right click, it makes 10. If I shift right click, does it make more? Did that make 100? I didn't see what it queued up. <laughs> Did it queue up all of them? No. It might have queued. Maybe shift right click does all you can craft. I know I need 200, so I'm going to kill it around 200 ish. Oh, look at that. Perfection. Okay. Uh, there is a help menu if you push F1. And then just tap Alt to get your cursor. Uh, it goes through all this. Hold C, mouse right. I don't know if it says about crafting. But there is a lot of stuff on the help menu. But anyway, we should be able to make a, f a concrete floor now. So let's go to wall. And wall will make walls, floors, and ceilings on your frame. And then I think I just left click. Yep, there we go. So now I have a concrete floor. Now this frame I can delete. I don't know if I get my stuff back. But I don't think I want to delete that just yet. I may want to add stuff to it. But if I go here and I go to cube, you know, I could, I could add on building this way as well. But I think I want to do some composite for that, although I might do concrete. I want a little bit of a thing because we need what's called a ground anchor. So kind of like space engineers, uh, this is not a static grid. This is just sitting on the ground. So if I put a miner on here and try to mine, it's going to like flip all over the place. So we need to make a ground anchor, which will turn it into a static grid. It anchors it to the ground, just like it sounds. Uh, oh, it said I needed 200, but it didn't use all 200. All right, we have some concrete blocks, so let's do that. So I'm going to put my ground anchor... Where should I put my ground anchor? Maybe here. So if I click left mouse and hold, I can drag out this direction. Well, before I had to use the scroll wheel. Now it's wanting to do that. All right, so we'll just go up to, say, here. And then now I want to make a ground anchor on that. So how do we do that? That's a great question. I like that we can search here. That's handy. Ground anchor. So we need a casing and 100 screws. Okay. So if we go to components. So components are parts. I'm still learning where everything is. I think components is one step up from cart from parts. All right, we need a casing, so right click, and then we needed a hundred screws. Oh, I no single click, and then right click is ten. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, and then hopefully that'll make a hundred screws. You need one connector and a thousand iron. Wow. Okay. Uh, so we need a connector which takes wire. So we need one wire, one plastic. Uh, wire takes a plastic. So we need two plastics. So three total. And then a wire. And then a connector. <laughs> I kind of wish it would craft the prerequisites. But it, it does not do that. And then I believe it's under there. But, and then now we just need a thousand iron and I have three. Okay. <laughs> it's time for me to go click on a lot of rocks. So I'm going to put a cut in here. I'm going to go get a whole bunch of rocks. And we're only going to have to do that for a little bit. Uh, so it's not going to be the end of the world. But actually, now that I think about it, there is a rake. Let me get a little... I'm going to get one of these. This lets you gather rocks faster, so... We might be able to just knock that out pretty quick. From what I understand, the color of the rock doesn't matter, but the size does. Like, the bigger it is, obviously, the more stuff you get. So I tend to just pick up the big rocks. So let's see how this works. And I do have a headlight I can turn on. What's cool is this is all ray tracing, so this isn't bump mapping. Like, this is actual geometry. That makes all the shadows and whatnot. And also, I should mention, this world is full scale. It's full Earth scale. So it's huge. 
Can't mind that. But I wonder if I push V. No, is it F? I thought there was a way to look at these little rocks. Yeah, no? okay. Let's get some of these bigger ones. Now if I go into my suit, I've got all this rock here. So we'll crush that. And there's 50. We're halfway to our, the rake tool. I'll make the rake tool and then I'll use that to gather up all the rocks we need for the uh, ground anchor. We'll do this here in real time. It shouldn't take too long picking up the big rocks. Just walk around and click. All right, what we got here? I kind of wish this would stay open. You have to close each one. Unless there's another control for that. I'm still learning this. All right, we have just 100 iron, so I should be able to make this now. So click on that. And we'll see how that works. I think it lets you just run around and gather things up automatically. Oh, if I hit escape, it clears the set out. Excellent. Uh, and then the help tool tips. Rock rake tool, I'm reading the upper right here. It's for picking rocks quicker by the hand. You pick up rocks, aim at them while holding mouse left. Oh, if you have this, you can see the composition. Eh, okay. And I think it, this would tell you the composition of what's in the ground, maybe, too. Okay, so I'm just holding left mouse and then just sweep, sweep around. So I'm going to gather up a whole bunch of rocks and we'll get the ground anchor made. So I'll see you in a bit. One thing I think I forgot to mention uh, is there's coding and computers and there's, there's networks. So there's like, uh, there's different wiring networks. There's fluid networks, stuff like, you know, item conveyors. All that kind of stuff. Uh, and the computers have a programming language. I forget what it's called, but it's its uh, its own programming language. Uh, so it's pretty powerful. You can make a lot of uh, automated stuff. Uh, it has workshop support, so there's a bunch of stuff on the Steam Workshop. You don't want to design and build uh, your own things. Uh, there's airplanes, rockets, rovers. Uh, the video I found that actually tuned me into this game, uh, he had built a submarine. So that was pretty cool. Just happened to run across and I don't remember the channel name. I'll try to remember to put a link. That's how I found out about it. All right, we should have enough now to make a ground anchor and get this thing kicked off. We're gonna make a ground anchor, a mining drill, a small battery, and then a switch to turn on the mining drill. And then I think we might need a container. I don't know if the mining drill itself has much inventory. Got over a uh, thousand silicon. A lot of silicon around here. I did go ahead and make myself some canisters. So I was going to go see if they would fill up. Like it fills this up and then it fills up the canister maybe. So you have more capacity. That would kind of make sense, but I don't know for sure if that's how that works. There we go. Now we should be able to make our ground anchor. Now we need 10 more screws. Okay. One ground anchor coming up. And we're going to need a toggle button. Casing screw wire. All right, casing. Screw. Need at least one plastic for the wire. And then a connector, which also takes a plastic. Oh, did I not make the wire? I thought I made the wire. Something I made must have used up the wire. 
toggle button. And then I need a, it's called a spool, I think. Yeah, spool. So we have data cables, fluid pipes, high voltage cable, item conduit, and low voltage cable. I'm gonna need, at the very least, uh, a data cable spool. So that takes 100 wire, 10 connectors. Okay. That's a lot. Let's get this ground anchor put on. So we can just drag that down to there. And drag the button down to there. And then we want the pointy bit to go into the ground. So that is actually oriented. You can use your mouse wheel to rotate things. And it rotates by default on the face that you're looking at. So I'm gonna put the ground anchor right there. And then let's do a little more here for a button. We're gonna put the button just right here by the ground anchor. Should work. Is that gonna let us wire it up? Not 100% sure if that's going to work right. We'll put it over here. Now what I need to do is I need to um, I need to cable this button to here to basically activate it. Now the ground anchor doesn't require power. Most of the things require power. This does not. So let me get all this stuff crafted up to make the uh, spool. I'll be right back actually ran out of copper so it will just pause your uh, crafting queue had to run out and get some more rocks let's see if we can find some copper here uh yeah that's got a little bit of copper in it not a lot i think i can just close that and it'll continue going so i'm out here sweeping up rocks again i'm not gonna have to do very much of this once we get the drill going uh we'll have rock for days and then we can uh eventually build a crusher and which will crush it instead of doing it in our suit and then we can just scale up from there some of these bigger rocks here well, the video i was watching that said the color didn't matter was it was a month or two old so i don't know if that's still the case but it's been going for the bigger stuff uh oh it did get some copper out of that to finish that up cool let's go ahead and crush this stuff And crush it all and I didn't notice at first that you can queue up the crafting all right can I make my spool now so if we go to spools data cable yes we can so that makes a um, hundred maybe let's see what we get I assume since it has a hundred wire that it'll be a hundred on the spool oh it's meters that makes a hundred meters Wow. Okay. Now we can hook this up. So we just click there. And then there's various ways you can run this. Uh, we're just going to let it do its automatic thing. If I do scroll wheel, it'll do like an alternate path. But that looks good to me. All right. We have our first thing hooked up. Now if I push F on this, it shoves that ground anchor in. And now this is attached to the earth. <laughs> Pretty darn cool. Pretty darn cool. All right, the next thing up I need to make is a drill, but I think we'll do that in the second episode. I want to keep these kind of shorter. So in between episodes, I'm going to go gather up a whole bunch of rocks with the rake, and then hopefully uh, the goal, well, the goal for the next episode will be to get automated rock mining. So we'll go from there. Thanks as always for watching, folks, and I'll catch you in the next one. Take care.